But I mean, Freshka does a lot more practice playing, organizes his own tournaments. Oh, hey, but at least we get to see a priest. That's that's fun. Does he? Yeah, yeah. Freshka is uh, one of the people who does the two P com dailies. So. Oh. I don't. I've hit him on ladder a few times, but I don't know him or his opponent that well. I know him a little bit. I've played with him some, and he's a pretty nice, just person. Um, and he has a lot of just game sense and often talks in the in the general 2P com chat and always helps people out and has a lot of game sense. So I, I'm expecting a lot of things out of this. Um, for Hept, I don't know him at all. Never even seen him before. Never. I don't even know if I've played a tournament with him before. So, But he's representing for Priest. I mean, there was once a time when people keep complaining Priest OP and you almost never see them anymore. I actually... Funny thing, I actually checked the Blizzard forums today on a whim, and I looked, and I looked at the Priest form because I remember that back then everyone was saying Priest is overpowered, nerf mind control, and they are still saying Priest is overpowered. <laughs> and, I, and I predicted that because I said to everybody when they were considering nerfing mind control to 10 mana, I said people at low levels are still going to complain about mind control even if it gets changed to 10 mana. Because the problem with that card is that the effect it has, not how much mana it costs. Because at low levels, balancing cards by mana cost isn't effective because they're not playing optimally anyway. So that so the mana cost will never come into play that much. No. You have to actually change the effect of the card in order to uh, like get them to stop whining about it, you know? No, absolutely. So, yeah, because so yeah, so they're still complaining about mind control on the Blizzard forums, even though Priest is like one of the worst classes in the game now. Yeah. That so that nerf, so that nerf like affected pretty much nothing except for making Priest even worse. Well, it definitely helped the professional games, I guess you could say. It helped us. Like, uh, oh my God, he is crying about him having played Sylvanas. He's crying. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Did you just see that? He's like, yeah, yeah. This is... wow. That is, I hate to to laugh at someone in the competition. That's not fair. But I mean, it's just so hard to. To, so, just... to be fair, Sylvanas is one of the most annoying cards in the game. Like you have, you, like you have an advantage, and then all of a sudden they just play Sylvanas, and you're like, oh, I guess I have to run all my minions into Sylvanas now. No, absolutely. I totally agree. It's just, I feel that. At this stage of the game, you shouldn't... I mean, just because you see one card, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't... Uh, you know, you got to be bigger than that. Bigger, you know? When you, when you enter the tourneys, you know what I'm saying? You, did you he not attack? Hmm? Is, Freshka, I, is Freshka trolling him? Like, did he not attack with the... Yeah, he's trolling him. Yeah, he didn't attack. Oh... Uh... I'm not sure what level of player Heft is. I didn't see what rank he's at. True, but rank, often rank doesn't necessarily mean all of it. Like, I'm ranked 9, yet, I mean, I've played in tourneys and beat a lot of people who are legendary. You know, I just didn't rank. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. rank doesn't say everything, but when people are crying just because Sylvanas gets played, that does say a lot, in my opinion, because you should be able to to understand that's going to get played and play around that. And if you can't, then obviously you're you're not up to the level. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just a matter of some people didn't invest a lot of money into the game. So when they get faced up against someone who has all the really good cards, it feels kind of hopeless. So I can understand that to an extent. Oh, you're so nice. Um, I, I guess you can definitely understand that to an extent. And right now, I mean, like, he is still in a very strong position, even though, you know, he, Sylvanas is on the board. It, just because you have a strong card on the board, it does not guarantee you victory. And, I mean, maybe, I don't know. It, comes, maybe it comes from the magic days, but, like, there's lots of times when, I, uh, when, when I've had optimal decks, and it's just the, the deck itself that, if you play it right, if you play it well, if you make the smart decisions, you can win. You know what I'm saying? It's not about 
it's not all about money. And this game, I mean, there are plenty of decks. I mean, the Murloc Warlock deck's a good example. It, it generally runs one or two legendaries, and yet it still has a pretty good win rate. You know what I'm saying? So it's not all about how many legendaries do you have, you know? Yeah, that's definitely. I definitely agree with that. But you can't deny that you do get an advantage from having, like, Sylvanas. Oh, absolutely. I'm never going to deny that it helps. I mean, like, it definitely helps, you know? The only problem I have with some of the cards, like Sylvanas and Ragnaros, is how random they can be. I just generally dislike cards that are so powerful but are based off of RNG. I feel like we're watching like a soap opera. They're more they're doing more talking than playing. <laughs> well, it's it's adding to the excitement of of this delayed slaughter. Um, He's giving him some pointers. He's such a nice guy. Uh, that's my point. Like Freshka is a really awesome person. Like that's all he does in, in the two P com chats where you have a lot of people who do the daily tournaments that he helps organize. He's always there helping people out, and he has so much game knowledge. It's it's incredible. And in one sense, one of the reasons we're doing this is to try and help everyone get better. And we may seem critical about people, but we're critical in a way where we're, we're trying to help people like get to that next level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, this is this is a nice change, you know. We had we had a few high level games, and now we're having this one. <laughs> I don't know what you would call this. I think Fresher could have won like three turns ago if he actually just attacked with his minions, but he's just not attacking for some reason. Right, right. Fresh is going to school with Hef, like he's intentionally giving him a chance to to play, and that may come to his own undoing. I mean, he's definitely in a position of strength right now, but if he keeps dawdling too long. You know, he could he could risk something, but uh, there we go. The end of the dawdle. I used to do that when I when I well, played earlier. I used to like delay wins just so I could mess with my opponent, and then I realized like sometimes like crazy stuff would happen. Granted, okay. he doesn't. I had in in one of the tournaments I I was in the like MLG challenge something like number five or six I faced this guy at the end and every single turn because there's no time limit in friendly games he would take like five minutes and just sit there and like spam emotes the whole time. Oh my god! And I was just it was like driving me crazy. I was like, come on, man! And he's like just trying to troll the whole time. And, you know, there is some merit to doing that because it does work. Like, it does definitely annoy your enemies. No, yeah, definitely. I mean, it works in poker, too. Like, putting people on tilt, sometimes it might not even give you that win, but if it was the first game and he put you on tilt, sometimes it can, like, give you the future games. Yeah, especially if you're, like, being an annoying bugger like that and you win, that would put the enemy on tilt, like... And right there, that was like a stupid play because he should have known that he didn't have to run the Shire Sun Cleric, the the Northshire Cleric there because Warlock doesn't usually have heal. You know what I'm saying? Like there would have been the odds of Warlock being able to heal a minion in order to draw an extra card off of it is like infinitesimally small. You know? Well, he has lethal. Let's see if he goes for it. <laughs> Yeah, he's, yeah, Freshka has decided uh, that class is out. and Well, he got a golden shadow bolt from that, so it wasn't completely a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, I make a prediction here that uh, Freshka wins again. What are your thoughts? I don't know. I think Heft has got this one. <laughs> His ability to, to sideboard and he, counter the Warlock. He's doing great. that, uh, you know that uh, pool trick where you pretend you're really bad in game one, and then you like bet a whole bunch of money, and then you come back and 
kick their ass. That's what he's doing. It's quite possible, actually. This is the part where he whips out the Warlock deck with, like, Sacrificial Pact and stuff. And he's just going to go to town. Oh, man. Here we go. It's going to be aggro, aggro. Not necessarily. It could be the Giant Warlock deck. Most people don't play the giant warlock deck. I mean, I, I mean, I've seen it before, but generally nine earlier. times out of ten, it's aggro. But I mean, this hand for Freshka is already really beautiful. I mean, you get your turn one, two, and three. It's just all nice and lined up, you know. Yeah, and you can coin out Sylvanas on turn four. I know you have a one, two, three, four. You know, it's just so. so the only cool. thing about this though is that. If he uses Soulfire at any point before turn four or five, he's going to risk discarding Sylvanas, which is like the most awkward position to be in as a Warlock, I think, when you have Sylvanas in your hand and a Soulfire. It's like you never, ever want to use it, even if you have like three other cards, because of the chance you might discard the best card in the game. I think using the coin there was actually a mistake. I don't know why he didn't just play the knife juggler. No, I know the knife juggler definitely would have been the. the I think that just overall, you still get the pressure on. You're still doing it. I mean, now he's missing turn four because where he would have coined Sylvanas before, his turn four now is going to have to be like. Well, it's probably going to be knife juggler void walker. I mean, I guess or knife What's juggler. Turn three? True. Good point. I mean, well, it depends on what he draws. Like, yeah, so turn three is going to be Knife Juggler, Void Walker, and then turn four might be Tap... I don't know. I definitely would have went uh, Flame Imp, and then turn two, Knife Juggler, turn three, the Shattered Sun Cleric, then turn four, Coin Sylvanas, and play, like, Soulfire. That's a, that's exactly the uh, the where I thought he was going to take it, but... Freshka probably has a, a strategy here. I think maybe he's thinking Sylvanas isn't going to matter as much. You know, maybe he's thinking he's just going to keep clearing the board anyway, you know? Yeah, maybe. Maybe he was scared of, uh... You know, maybe this... Well, actually, no, because if the Warlock has the Shattered Sun Cleric, he could just buff the Novice and run it into the... into Freshka's Shattered Sun Cleric, so... Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, I have just asked him if he wants some some tips on a Skype screen share, which which is which is funny. I mean I think Hept could actually be watching the screen right now as we're commenting and I don't think it will help him. You know, not that I think he's a terrible oh, okay. that, that was a little mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying I'm just saying sometimes it's not about seeing the other person's hand, you know. He just use power overwhelming. So is he actually going to kill the 4-3, or is he going to just hit him for 5? I mean, if you don't kill the 4-3, that's pretty bad. We were looking at the chat box, and all of a sudden the board looks different. <laughs> I think I would have soul fired that if I was fresh here. Yeah, he's, he's leaving himself... It's that awkward situation where you don't want to soul fire with Sylvanas in your hand, though. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that was what's going on there. And not to mention, like, what's the worst that the Berserker can do? What, he's going to mortal coil it, run it into him for five? I mean, like, just trade for the Shattered Sun and you still have a 2-3? I mean, I don't really see too much... Well, trading one for one slows down the tempo. I mean, Freshka is still in a, in a much better position here. Better board position, I mean, much after winning that first game. So convincingly, I'm sure Hept is having some mental anguish, i.e. give me some advice to play this. So <laughs> I think he's soaking it in. But this is a learning experience for Hept. I mean, like, Hept is gaining some real tournament experience here against one of the best players in the country, and this is going to make Hept better in the future. So... When Hept is playing against his friends or playing in tournaments that don't have this level of competition, he's going to be much better for having played this. Mm. 
Is he going to double mortal coil that? Wow. He's going for the YOLO knife juggler now. You have to. Yeah, you have to. Knife juggler. It'd be so beautiful. I think Hats actually had to play it like that. I mean, he was behind and he just pulled a way that gave him a shot, you know? Boom! Knife juggler hits. Ouch. I don't know what to think of the Argent Commander anymore. It only got nerfed by one HP, but it feels so much weaker now. Well, yeah, that's because, like, certain things, like, obviously, Backstab, Eviscerate, I think, Frostbolt. I mean, I there's just so many, like, Arcane Missiles, better, Pings, better, you know, like, there's just so many more ways <laughs> to deal with it. I think it has more to do with the metagame shifting than the actual nerf, though. That's what my general feeling is. Because there's so much minions now that are so big that Argent Commander doesn't actually kill them. So the body that gets left behind for the four damage isn't as worth it because the Divine Shield charge doesn't actually kill the minion entirely anymore. I definitely, like I definitely agree. I mean, it's one of those, like, it depends on what your opponent is playing, right? Like, if your opponent is playing, obviously, things that generally are five health or below, then the Argent Commander kind of, you know, it kind of works. If it, obviously, if they're playing what they do tend to be playing now, which is some sort of variation of either Giants or Bigger, then it kind of sucks. Um, and it's really that gamble, because it is still a nice card. The charge is, I think, more useful than people tend to give it credit for, you know? But on the flip side, like, what takes that spot? You know what I'm saying? And generally, it is, are you going to put more late game in? Because if you put more late game in, then you're generally slowing down your deck overall. If you put more early game in, then you have to commit to early game, you know? So it, there's still not a lot of... There's nothing else that can really take that six slot very easily either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think Sunwalker is the obvious choice to replace Argent Commander. But it depends on what your deck needs. True, and Sunwalker is very nice because of the fact that it can usually two or three for one, depending on what your opponent is playing. And still, silence isn't that prevalent. I mean, it's very yeah, weird. It's mostly the Black Knight, I think, right now that's preventing everyone from using Sunwalker over Argent Commander. The funny thing is I actually don't... I think that... Uh, Heft is actually in a better position right now. Well, not really. But he's find, not in too bad of a position. I actually find it interesting that he didn't play the knife juggler there and throw some knives down. Yeah. They've been taking so long on their turns, I kind of stop, stopped paying attention to the entire thing. But that would have made sense, because there would have been a 50% chance to kill something for free. Exactly. That's exactly what I was, I was thinking. Nine. I think if you're heft, you actually just go all to the face here. Because he has no chance in hell of winning if this goes on for too much longer. No, of course. Oh my god. What's he doing? Well, because I think, I think he has more cards. He has more cards than Reshka does. Wow, even throwing the Argent Commander at that, that was so bad. Wow. <laughs> that was, he just like, he just gave up all hope of any momentum that he had. I think he should have just went for the face that turn. I think maybe trading the Owl for the Young Priestess would have been fine, and then hit him in the face with everything else. But trading off everything like that was was bad, I think. No, especially, yeah, like, especially because he's behind, you know. He gave him the board when he's behind. He, you know, like, that's, like, his only hope was to reestablish dominance. And he just 
gave up any chance of that. I think his only chance was to just hit face and hope that he that Fresca didn't have lethal on him. Because if he didn't kill him that turn, Haft would have had lethal next turn. Or he would have at least forced Freshka into a situation where he had to trade unfavorably. Yeah, and, and right now, Freshka is actually telling Hep that. So maybe he'll learn, and maybe he'll watch these videos later and be mad at me because I like... Yeah, it. and Freshka's telling him that the same thing right now. That was his only chance to win. Exactly. 